Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you need to find where the tag light fuse is located, which fuse you need to check for the tag light on Ford Edge, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, where well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that forage for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So for the tag light fuse, guys, which fuse we need to check, we will demonstrate on this generation Ford Edge right here. If you own one of these, there are many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know they exist. We we'll recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Ford Edge. What you guys need to do for the tag light fuse, you need to open the driver door. And here, you need to guys come on the driver side, under the dash, this is the food well compartment, this is the parking brake paddle, hood open lever, behind it on the left side you have a cover, remove it and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so guys here we need to check one fuse that's known as a tag light fuse or license plate light fuse please make sure you stay until the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us looking at it from left to right that's first second third fourth row of fuses we need to come in that fourth row under that silver shiny fuse and we need to check fuse number 40 which guys will be actually that fuse right here that tenant fuse that's the one that you will need to check for a license plate light uh, on ford, uh, ford uh, edge so guys, this generation Ford Edge has all kind of different fuses and relays. Fuses and relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you live in a small town, if you're in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one, and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came. So we we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind, so that thing doesn't happen with you. We'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.